Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Age Out Reacts with the two hosts of the Age Out Podcast, Mike Fantini and Evan Wool. And today we're doing something a little different. You know, a few days ago, Evan had the idea to throw a story post out there on our Instagram, just kind of asking for high school lot videos, have drum lines and stuff. Like, there's got we figured there's got to be a lot of unknown gems, for a lack of a better way to put it, out there in the high school band world. And you know, the high school season's kind of wrapping up, so we got way more messages than we thought we were going to <laughs> if i'm being honest there was we got what probably 50 40 something different videos and maybe there's a lot my phone was going off like crazy um but so the four we chose today and i actually have my screen full screen as you can see uh, were central laforge from louisiana from 2018 this video was nasty so we're like we're gonna watch this one um and then yeah, it was... a friend of mine actually sent me that who does some judging down in Louisiana. He's like, dude, you wouldn't believe there's like some hidden gems down in Louisiana that just don't, not in the mainstream like WGI realm and stuff. They're just throwing down. <laughs> and he told yeah. me about this group and this was like the first video I found. So I was like, yeah. all right. I'll he, Evan sent me the video link and I watched it for 30 seconds and went, all right, we're 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 definitely doing this one. This Louisiana. is wild. It's pretty cool. Uh, so it's this one. Then it's like Old County High School from up in the Northeast, right? Old Bridge. Old Bridge. Sorry. Old County. Oops. Uh, we did get a South County one. So yeah, I, co I combined dude, the two. It's bleeding together. Too many options. And then we're going to do Lafayette High School, who had a really solid year this year from Lexington, Kentucky, actually where we're from. And then we're going to end with some Vandergrift because it's Vandergrift and it's fun. Um, and they're really good. Uh, so before we get into that, I'm going to open this beer and also go check out the podcast on podcast services. You know, check out Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. It's a staged out podcast. Um you know, we're on Spotify, you, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Uh, yeah, subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right, let's open this beer, and then we will... Uh... There we go. All right, you ready, dude? Yep, let's do it. All right, Central LaForge. I hope, I'm probably mispronouncing that, by the way. Yeah. Dreadlock work to start. Good rhythm dreadlocks, control. Dreadlocks are actually really hard to play clean with because the yeah. sound is so thick and so yep. wide. Nice. Those fast singles at the end. Really good rhythm control throughout that whole phrase. Good spot rock. Roll. You hear that roll? roll? Yeah. Nice. Woo. Some of those rolls, man. Just beefy. Good hand speed change. Eighth note roll the triplet. Nice control to the space. I sense a metrica chill. <laughs> a little double flam drag action. Could have gone without the split. Yeah, oh, that's all right. Really, really good. Really well done. The whole phrase was good though. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. This is a Challenging beefy stuff. high school book, man. There's a lot of notes. Good touch and sense of dynamic control, too. Yep. Ooh, head roll. They've displayed a very good ability to dig in when needed to and also play delicately when needed to. This whole phrase from the snare line and the quads, really, really the whole battery, just very delicate and tasty, but earlier in the video, just freaking go, going ham with sound quality and beef on everything. Triplet rolls crescendo too. Mm. 
that was one of those phrases where the snares were kind of going after it and the other other sections were playing those big big picture rhythms like that whole thing i talked about with rudy about bd and everything filling it in yep yeah yep it's really cool yeah dude they they super this i did not expect I, this when you sent me the video link well i mean i'd never even heard of this no high school before this week no did not expect it and after 30 seconds like i said i was like we're gonna highlight this i know it was like four years ago but it's Whatever. a really good video kudos yeah all right let's move to i'm gonna butcher it again old bridge right. i don't know where any of these groups are except for that first one yeah no, well that's not true i, I know think this one's except... on the east coast yeah virginia pennsylvania maybe somewhere in there south carolina i'll google it while we're listening to it old starting bridge. this off with this kid right here staring right into the soul of the camera <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's get this started. A maybe New Jersey? That sounds about right. Wow. Hard moving into those rolls off the buzz. And then moving the roll from the edge to the center. Sound quality. I, I'm gonna rewind. Listen to the bass line through that phrase, or through the end of that phrase. Drums tuned really well. Ooh, yeah. Love Putting it. those threes on that yep. roll. Yeah, bass line's good. tempo control too as that phrase required more and more energy very tasty mm -hmm. dynamic writing drum set feel nice job off the big really press, good though. rolls yeah. Dude, good rolls just don't go out of style. Nope. Bass support is very well done. Yeah. Bass is the crescendo in from halfway on the drums to the center. Kudos to the to the flat line controlling those sixteenth notes, big sixteenth notes with like the eighth note or quarter note space between them. Handled that really well, too. All right, we got another phrase here. Let's take his head. action. Pause real quick. I, I like the full percussion, and honestly, like, listening to high school groups with the full ensemble, the full winds of brass, because, yeah, DCI, like, the job is to support the chord, too, but... Even more so in the high school realm, the the idea or the purpose of the percussion is to really support the full package of the mm -hmm. uh, uh, of the band. So it, it makes a lot more sense a lot of times when you just see it like that. Oh yeah, for sure. Chris Pulse fast rolls. Yeah. Nasty. Oh my gosh. 
That just built all the way to the oh climax. <laughs> that was wild. Going. This bass line is nasty. Too, for the front ensemble layering in on top of some of that stuff. Oh, yeah. Just taking the pulse from backfield. It a lot. Ensemble timing. The front to back interplay was really cool. That whole phrase. Yeah. Oh. Jun, jun, jun. Coming off the field, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's jump to Lafayette uh, at a Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, yeah, I think we're right on their percussion feature. Let's see uh, here. Just before it a little bit, probably. Yeah. They had a very Jared. very solid season. Yeah, our uh, friend Jared Andrews that we've had on here works with them uh, some during this season. I know he writes some of the beats. Yep. Or writes all the beats for the battery. I don't know who does the front. Uh, maybe Tanner? Maybe uh, someone else. I th um, think Tanner might have done it. I don't know. I'll ask Jared later. He's definitely changed the trajectory of this program from a percussion standpoint. Him and just Aaron Jones, who went to college yep. with us. Some other folks there. They've done a hell of a job over the past two or three years. So. Very good rhythm control by the basses on the unisons at the end there, especially. And right here. All the way down with that roll. It's cool how the like front rhythm da, 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 kind of transferred back into the yep. battery. Long roll. Nice. Yeah. Well done. Even though I've seen this show, I've never really dissected the progression, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you probably saw it a lot this year. Of, I've seen it a handful of times, yeah. Yep. That shows we competed against. Up with that whole phrase, snare drums. Bass line's good. Yep. Space marimba moment's pretty cool. I feel like that was a really long phrase for the marimbas. They were just yeah. going, playing just like 16th notes, not just the whole way through that battery phrase. I don't, I don't know if you would call it a battery phrase, but percussion phrase. There you go. Nice roll, and then open it up into the yep. It's a lot harder than a lot of people think it is. I think it's harder to go from fast roll to slow roll than. than then slow roll the fast roll, personally. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you just don't want to, you don't want to pump the brakes and hit yeah. the, hit the, uh, yeah, downshift. I guess. Into the you gotta, there. you gotta go from oh, downshifting would make you go faster. But anyway. you gotta, you gotta go from more hand pressure for the fast triplet roll, and then really open that fulcrum up a little bit, and slow your hands down. Just let the weight sink into the arms. Yep, they handled it very well. Sounded good. Uh, yeah, we got like thirty seconds left here. We'll just finish it out. I love tap fives like that with eighth no space between them. Yeah. You can just really dig into it. Mm -hmm. It's aggressive. It sounds cool. Yeah! 
<laughs> He's happy with it. There yeah, was also really well some. Done. There was more cool interplay there with the marimbas and the snare drum specifically. Like at the end, they had the big accented da da dum da da dum. But there was like one before that, a little softer one and a two and a three that kind of popped out of the run the marimbas were already playing with the snares. That was cool. Tough to do too. Uh, yeah, that right. program is uh, leaps and bounds better than it was like four or five years ago. Oh yeah, night and day difference. All right, we're gonna end with good old Vandergrift because. Why not? Yeah. This is from three weeks ago, isn't it? This is not a recent yeah, video. Yeah, it's not recent. <laughs> uh, and it's still uh, nasty at times. A yeah, lot of it, actually. <laughs> Team Texas down there. There's a lot of really good percussion ensembles down in Texas. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. And then we got a few videos. We'll hang on to the ones that we haven't gone through. Yeah. Uh, just for a later date. We'll probably do another one of these high school highlight videos down the road. Um, all right. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's just right. a lot of vocabulary in there, too. Lamp vibes, chetas, I mean, there's just the, all the rolls and periodical stuff. They're just hitting quite a variety. Swiss Listen guy. to the walking bass under all this. Then to the 16th notes, yeah. It's like, did they lay something on the snare drum? Yeah, I couldn't I figure did, that I either. Not, is that, oh, go back, go back. Is that Joe yeah. Hobbs playing on the concrete? Yeah, I guess. That's hilarious. He's played along with him. He's got to play that. He's play. He likes the beats. I was just like, did they put something on the top? Yeah, you can hear him. All the way down to the edge. Nice. Bring the roll up and then down again. Oof, into the little threes. The bass is the bass tuning sounds immaculate. Yeah, dude. Well, well tuned drums just go such a long way. much to say i'm just kind of enjoying this right now yeah this is this groove this fat backbeat this chicken's gonna be fun oh, and an ad you can describe got us got him uh, i thought we made it through well i muted it i'll put the logo up right now <laughs> while we talk for a second and then i'll just all right go back oh it was at the end of the video anyway yeah or no in the video ad all right gotcha uh so yeah that was cool i mean i, I think it's cool that like a lot of the videos that people sent just allowed me to see groups that i've never heard of um, oh yeah groups out of the mainstream typically the only high schools i hear about are the ones that compete in wgi and honestly just because of time's sake are all in a scholastic world or the mm -hmm. upper class of independent open but there's just a lot of really good ensembles out there and doing a lot of really good things yep so like we said before the video started we're gonna take advantage of some of this and um probably do another one of these high school highlight videos uh at some point before indoor gets started and then during even during indoor season if there's a high school group that stands out um we'll talk about them we're obviously gonna like evan just said we'll talk about chino hills we'll talk about all the usual players at the top of the game but it's just cool to give credit where credit is due in some unknown places so uh if you happen if you happen to get a good video of another high school group send it to us the dms are still open on instagram um whatever we're open to checking out anything 
Uh, yeah. So again, go check out the podcast on podcast services, Facebook, Instagram. We've got a couple announcements about some shirt sales coming up soon. I think we're getting that rolling now that um, the marching band season here in Kentucky is kind of over. we got some more free time to get that all figured out. So be on the lookout for that on Instagram. And other than that, you know, we'll see everybody in the next video. Peace.